All right, hopefully you found class pretty uh, easy in setting up these trig functions. And what we want to do today is <clears throat> solve real-world problems because that was part of our standard. All right, so if you got an FBI agent that wants to climb a rope to get to the top of the building where a suspect is holding someone hostage, how much rope does he need to use in order to reach the top of the building? If the building casts a 205.7-foot shadow at a 30-degree angle to the ground. So they've labeled the picture. Um, you've got 205.7 on the ground because that's where shadows are. And um, you've got a 30 degree acute angle. And we want to find out how long the rope is because the rope's going to go from the top of the building to the bottom of the building. So that would be side B. Now, according to or re with respect to the angle, 205 would be your adjacent side. And B, or actually, it would be your opposite side because it's across. And B would be your adjacent side because it is the side. So again, if you use your Sakatoa, to determine which one uses adjacent and opposite, you're going to find you're going to use the toe part. So we know that we have tangent of theta, which is 30 degrees because it's inside the triangle, so it's going to be inside the parentheses. Opposite is 205.7. And adjacent is going to be B. That's what we're wanting to find. So to solve it, now that we've got it set up, we do the same thing we did in class today. We're going to make tangent 30 over 1, so it's a proportion. When we cross multiply, that gives us tangent 30 times B and 205.7 times 1 is 205.7. So in order to work it out, all we got to do is do the opposite of multiply. So we're going to divide both sides by tangent 30. We're going to get our calculator out. Tangent 30s cancel on the left. Put in the fraction button. Put 205.7 in your numerator. You're going to put tangent 30. Be sure to close your parentheses. And that's going to tell me that X or B equals 356.28. So you need a rope. It's 356.28 feet long. Here's another problem. A water slide is a straight ramp that starts at the top of a tower that is 34 meters high. All right, so if we got a tower, you've got the water slide. You know the tower is 34 meters high. The angle that the slide forms with the tower is 33 degrees. Angles go inside. How long is the slide? Well, the slide is going to be here. So if we use this, I know 34 is the adjacent side. I know that x is my hypotenuse. So we need to remember Sakatoa. And we need to figure out which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse. So that's the, that part of Sakatoa. So I'm going to say C stands for cosine. Theta is 33 because it's inside the triangle. Adjacent is 34. And I don't know the hypotenuse. That's how long the slide is. So in order to find out how long the slide is, I'm going to set up a proportion. I'm going to put cosine 33 over 1. I'm going to cross multiply, so that gives me cosine 33 times x. Cross multiply the other way, 1 times 34 is 34. So in order to solve it, I need to divide both sides by cosine 33. The 
cosine 33 is cancel out on the left. So all I have to do is put this in my calculator to see how long the slide is. So I'm going to hit the fraction button. I'm going to put 34 in my numerator. I'm going to put cosine 33, close the parentheses in my denominator, and it's 40.54. So I found out the slide needs to be 40.54 meters long. Next problem. A tower is secured to the ground with a cable. So if I've got a tower, i got a cable holding it in place. The cable is 40 feet long, so I'm going to put 40 feet on the cable. The angle the cable makes with the ground is 71. Here's the ground. So the angle is going to be 71. How tall is the tower? Well, here's the tower. So we'll put X there. So again, here's my acute angle. Across would be my opposite side. And 40 is my hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So I need to remember my Sakatoa. Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? That does. So the S stands for sine. Theta is inside the triangle. That would be 71. Opposite is X. And hypotenuse is 40. And the easiest way to solve these is to make it a proportion. So I'm going to put sine of 71 over 1. And I'm going to cross multiply. So that gives me sine of 71 degrees times 40 equals, and 1 times x is x. So since x is already by itself, all I've got to do is put this in the calculator to find out what x is. So I'll get my calculator, and I say sine 71, be sure to close your parentheses, times 40. And that gives me 37.82. So the tower is 37.82 feet tall. Alright, next example. A wire from the top of a building to the ground makes an angle of 19.7 degrees. So we've got a building. A wire from the top. Makes an angle on the ground of 19.7. Nope. It says with the side of the building, an angle with the side. So that's going to give me the angle, the side of the building is going to be here. So this is going to be 19.7. If the wire is 200 feet long, here's the wire. How tall is the building? So there's my acute angle. This is going to be my adjacent side because it's beside. This is going to be my hypotenuse. So again, i got to use Sakatoa to figure out which trig function to use. Which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? This one, C stands for cosine. Theta is inside, so that's going to be 19.7. It's inside the triangle equals adjacent, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 200. So to solve this, I want to make a proportion. So cross multiply. So that gives me cosine of 19.7 times 200 equals, cross multiply the other way, 1 times x is x. x is by itself, so all I have left to do is put this in the calculator. So I'm going to get my calculator and I'm going to say cosine 19.7. Be sure to close your parentheses times 200. And that gives me x equals 188.29. So if x is 180.29, the building is 188.29 feet. 
All right, a 6.25 meter ladder leans against the side of the house. So I've got a house. I've got a ladder. The ladder 6.25 meters. The angle between the ground and the ladder, so here's the ground, is 70 degrees. How far from the house is the foot of the ladder? Well, the foot of the ladder is here. So I want to know this. So if this is my angle, I know x is adjacent. I know that this is my hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So I've got to pull out my Sakatoa again. And I ask myself, which one uses adjacent hypotenuse? That would be this one. So C stands for cosine. 70 is your theta because it's inside the triangle. Adjacent is X. And your hypotenuse is 6.25. So the easiest way to solve it would be to make it proportion. So I'm going to put cosine 70 over 1. I'm going to cross multiply. That gives me cosine 70 times 6.25 equals, multiply the other way, 1 times x is x. x is by itself, so all I need to do is put this in my calculator. So I'm going to say cosine 70, be sure to close your parentheses, times 6.25 equals, and that's going to give me 2.14 if I round it up. So the ladder is 2.14 meters away from the house. And the last problem. A loading platform is 1.25 meters above the ground. How long must the ramp be in order that it makes an angle of 20 degrees with the ground? So you've got a platform here. And then you've got a ramp going up. If it's 1.15 meters above ground. Here's the ground. Here's how far it is above. Makes an angle of 20 degrees with the ground. Here's the ground. So here's your 20. How long must the ramp be? Here's your ramp. So here's your acute angle 20. Across would be opposite. X is my hypotenuse. So I've got to figure out the function to use. So I'm going to get my second toe out. Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? That would be this one. So S stands for sine. Theta is inside the triangle. That would give me 20. Opposite is 1.15. And hypotenuse is X. So remember to solve these. It's easier if you make it a proportion. So let's make it a proportion. Cross multiply. The sine of 20 times x is my first cross product. 1 times 1.15 is 1.15. Now I need to solve for x because it's not by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides since it's multiplying by sine 20. Do the same thing to the right side. The sine 20s cancel on the left. So to find x, I've got to put this in my calculator. So it's a fraction. I'm going to press the fraction button. And um, 1.15 is my numerator. Sine 20 is my denominator. Be sure to close the parentheses. And the answer is 3.36. So the ramp needs to be 3.36 meters long. Um, hope this helped. We're again going to work on these on Monday. So uh, look over these. Make sure you understand how to set them up. Sakatoa helps me a whole lot. And um, see what we can do.